Have you ever sat in a car and wondered what exactly the difference is between manual and automatic transmission? Maybe you've heard people talk about how they prefer stick shift because it gives them more control. Or perhaps you've heard others swear by automatics because they're just easier to drive. Either way, today we're diving into the fascinating world of car transmissions, exploring not just how they differ, but why it matters and what might be better for you, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics. A transmission, whether manual or automatic, is responsible for transferring power from the engine to the wheels. It's what allows your car to shift between speeds, climb hills, cruise on highways, and even reverse. Think of it as the middleman between your engine's raw power and your car's movement. Now, the real difference lies in how the gears are shifted. In a manual transmission, the driver has full control over gear changes. You'll find a clutch pedal to the left of the brake pedal. Every time you want to shift gears, you press the clutch, move the gear shifter into the desired gear, and then release the clutch as you press the gas pedal. It takes coordination, and there's definitely a learning curve. But many drivers say this creates a stronger connection between them and the car. Manual transmissions are usually simpler in design. They have fewer parts than automatics, which often makes them cheaper to maintain and more fuel efficient, though that can vary. Enthusiasts also love how manual cars perform in terms of responsiveness. The direct control can be thrilling, especially on winding roads or racetracks. Now with an automatic transmission, the car takes care of gear shifting for you. There's no clutch pedal, just the gas and the brake. As you accelerate, the car automatically selects the appropriate gear. This convenience is one of the biggest reasons automatic cars have become the norm in many countries. Automatics are especially useful in stop and go traffic. You don't have to keep shifting gears every time you slow down or speed up. That's a major relief for city drivers. Plus, today's automatic systems are incredibly advanced. Many use sensors and onboard computers to determine the perfect time to shift, making the process smooth and efficient. And it's worth noting, not all automatics are the same. There are several types, traditional torque converter automatics, continuously variable transmissions, CVTs, and dual clutch transmissions, DCTs, each has its own unique characteristics. Torque converters are the most common. They use fluid coupling instead of a clutch, which makes shifts smooth, but sometimes less fuel efficient. CVTs don't have fixed gears at all. Instead, they adjust seamlessly through a continuous range, which can improve fuel economy, but sometimes feels less engaging to drive. Dual clutch systems, on the other hand, offer rapid gear changes, kind of like a blend between manual and automatic, and are often found in performance vehicles. So how do these two types of transmissions feel to drive? Well, with manual transmissions, there's more involvement. You're constantly making decisions about what gear to be in. That can be enjoyable on open roads, where you get a sense of full control. But in traffic, it can be tiring. You're riding the clutch, shifting up and down repeatedly, and it's easy to stall if you're not careful. Automatics, by contrast, make driving much easier. Especially for beginners, it removes one major thing to think about. And for many people, that's a huge relief. They just want to get from point A to B without worrying about what gear they're in. Let's talk about fuel efficiency and maintenance for a moment. Traditionally, manual transmissions were more fuel efficient, but in recent years, automatic technology has caught up. 
Some modern automatics even outperform manuals in fuel economy. As for maintenance, manuals tend to be simpler and cheaper to repair. There's no complex computer system or hydraulic mechanism to worry about. Automatics, on the other hand, can be expensive if they fail. Transmission rebuilds can cost thousands of dollars, and diagnosing problems often require special tools. That said, many automatics are built to last and require little maintenance if properly cared for. Regular fluid changes and not overloading the vehicle can go a long way in keeping an automatic running smoothly. Another key difference is the learning curve. Learning to drive a manual takes more time. You need to understand how to coordinate the clutch and gas, when to shift, and how to start on hills without rolling backward. It can be frustrating at first, but once you get it, it becomes second nature. Automatic transmissions are easier to learn. For new drivers or those who just want a stress-free commute, automatics are often the better choice. You can focus more on the road and less on what your feet are doing. What about cost? Manual cars are generally less expensive, both to buy and to maintain. Because they're simpler machines, they come with a smaller price tag in most cases. But there's a catch. They're getting harder to find. In many parts of the world, manual transmissions are disappearing. Car manufacturers are making fewer of them, and used models are becoming less common. Automatics dominate the market. And that means if you're set on a manual, your choices may be limited. So which transmission is better? Honestly, it depends on your lifestyle and preferences. If you love driving, want a more hands-on experience, and don't mind a bit of a learning curve, manual might be for you. It's also a solid choice if you're looking to save on repair costs and want a simpler machine. But if you prioritize convenience, live in a city with lots of traffic, or just want to get in and go without thinking about gears, then automatic is probably the better option. It's beginner-friendly, widely available, and keeps your focus on the road rather than the mechanics. At the end of the day, both manual and automatic transmissions have their strengths. Neither is universally better than the other. They just offer different experiences. What matters most is what you value in a car. Do you want to feel every shift and be part of the driving process? Or do you want something that takes care of it all for you? Whichever path you choose, understanding how these systems work can help you become a more informed and confident driver. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.